Hello, my name is Julie and this is KS Mom Crochets and today is the hashtag fall in love collab reveal video. Um, I did this collab with Caroline at For the Love of Crochet, Cassandra at Craftably Ever After, Bonnie at Strawberry Bonnie Crochet, and Marsha at Mimi Makes Keepsakes. Um, and I will have all of their channels linked below so that you can go and check out and see what um, projects that they made for this collab as well and like I said it is the hashtag fall in love so the main idea behind this was to fall in love with something new that was the main idea however <laughs> you all know um, if you've been with my channel for a while that I have been struggling um, not only with time but with um, just my love for crochet is just kind of like dissipated a little bit. So my goal was to make things that I love to make. Um, I wanted to fall in love with crochet. Um, that was my theme behind my um, projects and what that I made for this collab. So um, I I'm a little bit nervous to show you all what that I made because whenever I was showing the yarn that I chose for these projects um, in my introduction video, I feel like a lot of you all <laughs> thought that I would make or could make something um, large, but I was already working on a large project, so I didn't want to make anything big, <laughs> you know? So, um... I, I said the yardage and everything because that's kind of what you do when you show a new yarn that you have. So I had never used those colorways before, but I had to use that yarn. And it was the Hobby Lobby's I Love This Yarn in Burnt Pumpkin and Hobby Lobby's I Love This Yarn print in Autumn Stripe. And those are obviously the current theme of all of my projects. Like I incorporated those colors into all of my projects and I actually made three. Now this was actually the last project that I made and I mean you all seen it as soon as I popped on the video here but this is the chocolate bonbon hat um no chocolate bonbon beanie by bag o day crochet and I'm sure everybody's familiar with her channel but if you're not I will have this um youtube tutorial linked below now I did buy the written pattern because I just like following a written pattern and she does sell her written patterns really cheap and they're you know they're very easy to follow and you always have her tutorials also if you um you know are interested i will have both the youtube tutorial and the written pattern link below but i absolutely love this hat and this is nothing new um because like i said i wanted to fall in love with crochet and i had already done two projects and I had yarn left over and this and I still have yarn left over like I wanted to use all of my yarn but I still ended up with this much I ran out of time and I was not able to um, use up all of the yarn but like I said I did get it all the way down <laughs> to just these two scrap balls um, so I'm really really happy about that um, but obviously I had more left after doing my two projects and I thought what a great way um, to make something that I can wear, you know, wear it for the video or even wear it out. And the only reason that I feel like <laughs> that this fits in with the theme of hashtag fall in love is because um, I have made plenty of hats um, since I've been crocheting. Um, I normally make neutral hats. Like I have never like color changed on hats before and I thought well that's something new and this is like really out of my comfort zone <laughs> like I have never made myself a hat that has um colors like this so I thought that that was fun and I think that this um fits in very well with the fall theme because these are definitely fall colors and I really do love this um this hat pattern like it's one of my favorite patterns for hats that she has made <clears throat> and y'all know she has tons to choose from now I I think she suggests to use a five and a half millimeter hook but like I said I have made this hat before and I have a small head so I went down to a five millimeter hook with this even though this is worsted weight yarn um, I did go down to a five millimeter and it fits me perfectly um, and then I, and since I did go down 
um, hook size. I did not do the de decreases. And um, I just did, because she adds like some extra decreases in these last, I think it's the, it's either the last row or the second to the last row. She adds some decreases there and I just did two single crochet rows instead. Um, just to fit my, my head. Um, but yeah, I really do love this hat. <laughs> so now what um, projects, other projects did I make? So I had two projects in mind and one of them I did and one of them I didn't um, I ended up changing my mind and doing something else because I'm the type of person that I second guess myself a lot <laughs> and I was already a little bit nervous about doing um, these types of projects <laughs> because I felt like you all might expect me to do something different out of my comfort zone and I did not. I did amigurumi <laughs> because that's just what I love to do. I love to make amigurumi. I love to make toys and um, they just make me happy and that like I said that is why that um, whenever I decided on projects I wanted to fall in love with crochet and what better way to fall back in love with crochet by, you know, by doing something that you love and um, making something cute, <laughs> you know, making something cute come to life. And I absolutely love this. I think she turned out so, so cute. Um, now, this is actually a free pattern, which is kind of crazy because it's so good. Like, it's such a great pattern. Um, <clears throat> this is called Foxy Fox. And it is by Amigurumi Today. Now, on their website, all of their patterns are free. They do have um, PDF downloads that you can purchase through their website. But, um, like I said, they are available for free as well. The only thing is, is you do have to sign up and make an account in order to view the full pattern. But they don't, I mean, like, they send you emails weekly or, like, every few days or something of just showing you patterns that they have and I really love getting those emails so um, they don't really like spam you with stuff you know what I mean but I do um, I do love this pattern so much and it was so easy to do and actually I did do something new on this pattern um, and that was the way that this face is made. I have never done that before. So technically I did do something new, <laughs> even though, you know, um, this is only my second fox that I have ever made, but this is definitely the most intricate fox that I have ever made, if that makes sense. Cause the last one that I made was really simple. So I used a 3.75 millimeter hook on the whole entire, um, box even on her dress I didn't you don't have to change hook sizes for her dress and obviously I use that Hobby Lobby's I love this yarn um, that uh, the burnt pumpkin and the autumn stripe but I also had to incorporate other colors out of my stash and I used the big twist in the color white and then I used um, the color chocolate brown for the bottom of the shoes and the shoelaces and then this part of her shoe is called toffee and then this right here is called um camel and she actually um you probably you can take this dress off and i will try to take it off real quick so that you can see what she looks like under her clothes so this is what she looks like so they do leave like a little space for her belly, which I think is super cute. Um, the tail is actually um, crocheted in. You can see my color jog there a little bit. Um, I can't remember if the arms are crocheted in or not. I just, I cannot remember. I will put it here if they are. But um, I know that you start with the boots and you work your way all the way up to the head and then the tail is crocheted in you do have to crochet on the arms and this muzzle is separate but um like i said the uh obviously the feet and the legs and then all the way up to the head and the tail is crocheted in and uh here is what her little dress looks like when you take it off and i think that it turned out really really cute 
Um, I did add some little buttons. That one you probably can't see, but it does say handmade with love. I've had those for forever. <laughs> and then I had these little buttons here um, in my stash, and I thought that they matched her dress pretty well. And now I'm going to put her dress back on. It's not super hard to remove the dress or put it back on. It's just you have to maneuver the tail um, to get it back on. But it actually slides on and off really easily. And I really do like that about this because you could um, make her different dresses. So that is why that I went with a more um, neutral color for her undergarments. Because obviously you can still see them like her sleeves and stuff and I thought well later on if I wanted to change her dress and make her something different than I could um but I really do like her now there was some details that I didn't do um I did the dress exactly the same except for um, row 12 I added an extra row of double crochet in three and then an increase in the next and then I fudged it around <laughs> to make this scalloped edge. I wanted a little bit more detail on this dress even though this colorway is very busy I did want a little bit more detail and then as you can see on the top of her boots she has this ridge that goes around and that ridge was actually supposed to be here and here on her arms here and I just left that out the only place that I did like the back loops only and then went back was on the top of her boots because I did want that separation there but like I didn't really want to bother with that extra detail but I'm sure that it would look really cute if you did that and like I said with her face you do have to change colors every row all the way up through here so like all the way around as well as on this muzzle. And it's really good practice on color changing. Um, I really did enjoy doing that. Now I did try to carry like, like I didn't carry the yarn and crochet over it, but I tried, I started carrying the yarn back and forth, but it got really confusing for me. So I just started cutting the yarn and tying it um, after every color change and that was just simpler for me um, because I don't like to carry another color like if I was to carry that orange underneath this white and crochet over it as I went you would have been able to see that so I think that it looked a lot cleaner um, actually cutting the yarn after every color change um, as you know as far as that now I did get this part of her ear a little bit crooked but I still think it gives her character and um, also I added this little bow in the camouflage um, that was part of the pattern as well um, I did do her eyelashes a little bit different uh, I can't remember I think there's like a line and then it goes down like there's two eyelashes and I did three and then I gave her these big glitter eyes because I thought that they suited her well. Um, and I think that's it. That's all I have to say about her. Now they do have a matching bunny. I think it's a bunny or a bear. I can't remember that. It's the same pattern but it's a different animal. And I really want to do it too because I do love how this came, came out. Also another thing different is this detail work on the tail here. Changing colors. I had never done that before either. And I really like how that that looks. Um, I think that it looks so cute. And I do, I do love, I do love this pattern so much. And if you are in the market for a fox pattern, I definitely highly recommend doing this, um, pattern or even just checking out Amigurumi today because they have tons of patterns on there and they're all free and they are really really great patterns like really cute and well written and um you just can't go wrong so here is my little foxy fox and like I said I love her and um she doesn't she doesn't stand up on her own but um she does stand up well, like leaned up against something. Now the next, um, the last thing that I made, cause like I said, I did make, um, three projects and the last thing that I made, I, um, I made from a book. 
Oh, I got it. I forgot the book, so I gotta go get it. Okay, so I had to go get that book because I I forgot it in the other room. So the the last project that I made is a little doll. <laughs> now, like I said, this is nothing new. None of my projects are like new, but um, there are things that I did that was new to me. So, um, I. I don't know. I just had a girl doll envisioned in my head and I wanted to make it come to life. So I pulled out this book right here, which is the Crochet Zodiac Dolls by Carla Metroni. And I love this book. I absolutely love it because you can really, you know, make something completely different. Even if you're not into Zodiac signs, which I'm not, <laughs> but um, these are really good base dolls um, to create something of your own. And they are so simple and easy to make. So I used different patterns from this book to make this one pattern. Um, and then also added some tweaks of my own. So for this little pumpkin girl, I used a 3.75 millimeter hook on everything. I used 12 millimeter eyes on her. I'll use that Hobby Lobby yarn again in the burnt orange and the autumn stripe. And then I also used Big Twist in the color cream for her skin tone. Um, I used Varsity Green for the um, curly cues and the little leaf here. And then chocolate brown for her um, stem of her hat. Now, as you can tell, <laughs> that hat and that hair really weighs her head down. I should have um, put something in her neck, and I did not. And um, but it's okay. I still think she's super, super cute, even if she kind of wobbles a little bit. But it's not horrible, horrible. So I used. Um, let's see. I used the Scorpio doll. Let's see if I can figure out how to show you all. So I used the Scorpio doll right here for the whole doll body, except I changed colors for the shoes. And because on this doll, the shoes are removable and I just wanted them to be part of the body. Um, and then I also created my own skirt for her. And I can't, I only have so many hands, so I, can't, I can only show you this first. And then I used the hair pattern from the Aquarius doll, which is this one right here. So I used her hair. And then um, I used the arms of the Cancer doll, which is this one right here because it had that color change for the sleeves and I wanted to make sure that I got it got it right. So um, so the heads are on these dolls are a little bit different. There might be a row less on one and a row extra on another to, to accommodate the different hairstyles. So that's something that you need to be aware of when you're interchanging these patterns and that's something that I didn't know until I made this pattern. So I did have to remove a row on her hair here to um, make it fit her head because the head and the hair were two separate patterns, obviously. Um, like I said, I did create my own skirt for her. I just did um, three, um, like a granny cluster, and then I added that scalloped edge so I did the granny stitch for two rows and then added um, like a shell, a shell stitch all the way around um, for the skirt. I also added like a little um, detail around her sleeve there and I just did like a tiny shell around her sleeves just to give her a little bit of detail and then I just chained and um, I think I did single crochets around and then slip stitched it together to go over her hair, her um, pigtails there. Um, and then also added these little buttons here for the front of her shirt. Um, another thing that I don't do is I don't like the nose. Because I think she does like a bobble stitch or something for the nose. And I don't like that. So I did just whip stitch her nose on. I don't know if you can see that or not. It's kind of blowing out a little bit, but I did create her own, uh, you know, just a nose. And then for her hat, 
which is this little pumpkin hat. I made this hat up myself um, just to fit her head. I just kept trying it on her. I knew what I wanted in my head and you know, I just increased with double crochet until I got it to fit her head. And then I added this um, double crochet front loop, um, you know, <laughs> what is that called? For the brim? Ah, uh, I forgot the name. It's, my mind's blanking. But like a ridge <laughs> around for the brim there. Um and then I just attached my yarn to the top and just crocheted a little stem on top, made some curly cues, and then um, I have made this leaf pattern before and it's just like stuck in my head so like I always know how to make a little leaf and um, I just made that to go on the top of her, her little hat. Um, I kind of, I kind of wish I kind of wish that I had um, switched and maybe did like a different color for her hair because her hair's so busy <clears throat> and um, incorporated this color somewhere else. But I still think that she turned out super cute. I did add a little smile. Um, none of these dolls have mouths and um, I just wanted her to have a little smile. Um, I was trying to see. <clears throat> oh, I did add this collar right here because I didn't like the way that the neck looked um, and I just thought that it I just, it's just an extra detail that I wanted to add and then um, yeah I think that's all that I have to say about her so here are my three projects that I made obviously I'm wearing one and then the two um, amigurumis and I hope that you all really like them and I hope that you're not disappointed <laughs> that I didn't make um, you know a huge project but like I said, I wanted to get my love for crochet back. And this was definitely such a excellent way to do that. I was so inspired looking at um, fall related um, projects, trying to figure out what that I wanted to make. And there's a ton that I want to make now <laughs> that I just didn't have time for. Um, so like I said, um, definitely go and check out these patterns on Amigurumi today because they are excellent patterns and I didn't have any issues whatsoever understanding anything. It was very well written and uh, I hope that you like them and um, yeah, so um, I did have a couple people send me pictures. I had three people send me pictures, but before I um, show those pictures I do want to let you all know about four people that I know of and if there's more than this I'm I apologize and please let me know and I will you know add your uh, channel name into the description box of this video so that people can go and see your video too but Pamela from Ginger Cat Crochet joined in Litza over at Coco's Crochet joined in Jana Kay from Flourish Evermore joined in and also Mary from Slow Crochet. Um, I definitely want you all to go and check out their projects. They did an excellent job and I really, really enjoyed watching your videos and um, seeing what that you were thinking about making and what you did make. Um, it, was, it was a lot of fun and I appreciate all four of you ladies for joining in. Now, like I said, I did have three people send me pictures. <clears throat> And I want to share those with you all. I did have one picture, or one person, um, Deborah. Hi, Deborah. Um, she was unable to complete her project, but she was trying her best to um, finish her project. And I just want to say thank you to her um, for trying to finish on time. And hopefully she will share that picture later and I can share it with you all in a podcast or something so that you can see what that she made. But the three people that actually um, sent me pictures was the first one was Nova and she made a squirrel and he is absolutely, absolutely adorable. She said that she loves doing amigurumi, but mostly makes like bears and cats and dogs and, you know, things like that, that she had never made a squirrel before. Um, <clears throat> so... 
She said that she doesn't like making tails, but she did do the tail, that big squirrel tail on this. And this is from the Sweet Crochet Animals book by Coke K. And um, I just think that it's absolutely adorable. I love the color changing on the face. Like I said, with that fox, that was like the first time. Like I have done that before, but not, not extensively like she did on this squirrel. I've never tackled anything like that because... It really intimidates me and I'm not intimidated now <laughs> so maybe one day I will be able to make something like this little squirrel that she made but it is absolutely adorable I love the colors that you chose definitely very fall and then the next person that sent me a picture or two pictures actually two projects was summer <clears throat> and she made um a little pumpkin bowl she said that she wanted she had never made one of those and her daughter is wanting her to make a bunch for her wedding next year which is awesome <laughs> and um, so she wanted to give that pattern a go and summer you did an excellent job on that little pumpkin bowl I almost chose something like that for one of my projects and then I ended up changing my mind and going with the amigurumi <clears throat> instead but I absolutely love your little pumpkin bowl and then the last pa uh, picture that she sent me was a little ghost and he is absolutely adorable too um I love both your projects and um that little ghost is so cute you know it just fits in the palm of your hand <laughs> And then the last person, but never not least, that sent me a picture was Janda. And she um, used the Scarfy yarn. She said that she had never used that yarn before. She's had it for a long time and it's just kind of been sitting in her stash. And she thought that that would be perfect for this collab. And I absolutely love the colors, the colors of this yarn. Now, I've never used Scarfy yarn because um, wool kind of... I don't know. I don't think I'm allergic to it, but it just bothers me. So I try to stay away from it because I don't want to buy yarn that I can't use. But it really makes me want this yarn because it's so pretty. So pretty. Now she said that she went through quite a few projects before deciding on which one she wanted to do. She said that she tried to do a cardigan. She did gauge swatches, everything. And, um, um, the yarn, it was just too hard for her to see her stitches. So she ended up, um, doing this scarf pattern and it is a YouTube tutorial by Hooked by Robin. And, um, she said it was great for the scarf and she got used to how the stitches looked so that she was actually able to finish a project with this, um, with this yarn. And I think probably, um, it was because it's more of a busier yarn and it's also black. So I can definitely understand why that you had to um, go with something more simple. Um, but I definitely, I love that scarf. Like it's gorgeous. And it's the colors, it will just match everything. <laughs> so um, thank you so much to Janda, Nova, and um, Summer for sharing your pictures with me and for participating in this collab. I am really, really happy that I was able to do this and join in and, um, you know, you know, do this with all these ladies. Um, definitely go and check out and see what projects that they made. Like I said, I will have all of their channels linked below so that you can go and see their hashtag fall in love projects. And, um, I just want to say thank you all for watching and I hope that you enjoyed this and I hope that you liked um, what projects that I made and um, until next time I will see you in another video. Bye!